Yeah, I'm going to show you some of the possible reasons why your VPN isn't able to access sites like uh, BBC iPlayer and ITVX. Um, it's specifically really around um, UK TV programs here, uh, but the principles apply to any site really. I mean, sites all over the world use uh, geoblocking, and you can normally use a VPN to bypass these. Now, but we'll, we'll concentrate on BBC iPlayer here because it's one of the most popular sites and it's what I use my VPN mostly for. Now, first of all, IP addresses. A VPN works, of course, by changing your IP address to the required country. For BBC, we need a UK IP address. Now, first of all, the, this is very important. Um, the BBC has blocked loads and loads and loads of IP addresses belonging to VPN services. And in reality, the vast majority of VPN programs don't really work with BBC iPlayer anymore. Um, I'd say about 90% are blocked. Now, if the IP address of the VPN server you're using is blocked or blacklisted, you can stop right there. Um, it won't work. Um, there's nothing you can do if the your IP address is blacklisted. With most VPN services, um, you can try to switch to a different IP address. That might help, but often they block en masse. But if it doesn't work, what's one of the first things you can try is change IP address. Most VPN services have got at least 10, 20. Most, the bigger ones, have got hundreds of IP address in each location. So close down your browser and try a different IP address. If using NordVPN, it's important to use one of the IP address that are specifically optimized for use with UK TV. And I put them up on screen here. Um, it's possible that other VPN services do the same. I'm not sure. Contact them by support and see if there's a certain server you might be able to use that will work. You know, often they'll keep a list, if even for their own sanity, to keep a list of um, IP addresses that work for support. Okay, so first of all, make sure you're using one of these servers for NordVPN. If you have problems, the first thing you do, change IP address. Change the IP address of your server. Okay, right. What else can we do? Okay, the second thing to check is cookies. Uh, these are the little uh, pieces of information that every website stores on your computer. And obviously, it, the BBC is one of those um, websites. And if you've got little pieces of incriminating evidence on your computer, clearing out your cookies is another um, good way to get to fix these sorts of problems. Now, I'll just show you in Chrome here, if you go up to the little three bars at the top, and you go to settings, you'll go to privacy and security. You'll find there that you can clear cookies and clear browsing data. Um, that, if you if you do that and then restart your browser, that often fix the problem without changing IP addresses. Um, it's especially worth doing that if you know the IP address should work, because um, cookies might may be the secondary problem. Another option you can do, and it's a habit you can get into as well, in Chrome, for instance, and you can do it with Firefox and the other um, browsers as well, is use a, something called an incognito mode. Um, let me just show you here. If I start, um, go up to the little um, tabs in Chrome, you can start an incognito window. You can see this. Uh, that basically stops any website storing anything on your computer. So if you're trying to keep fly under the radar with um, <coughs> with a VPN and access, say, the BBC or ITV from outside the UK, this is perfect. So you can get into the habit here of um, using incognito mode. Often you'll find this mode works the same when uh, the normal mode doesn't okay so you can just go into BBC iPlayer um, it'll ask you about cookies it can't store them uh, you also might need to sign in again because incognito mode doesn't sort of save the passwords and stuff like that so it can be a little bit inconvenient but um, it's another good way another brilliant way is to have two browsers on your computer and just use one for UK stuff, okay, for when you're using the VPN. So Chrome has got its own cookies um, that it'll use. If you go to another browser, you can find that this one browser will work and one won't. 
Um, it's it's never usually the primary problem, but if you get into a habit of just using a browser for British TV with your VPN, you'll have a load less problems, I guarantee you. I generally um, use Firefox to watch uh, BBC iPlayer. I'm using a VPN IP now, and you can see it works perfectly first time. Uh, whereas sometimes Chrome won't, especially if I've been using it in a different country beforehand. Now, there are other uh, little things you can do. I mean, it's it's best to get into a habit of using the VPN when you start up. So if you want to watch Match of the Day, for instance, um, and it's uh, you're watching it live on a Saturday night on the Spanish beach with your laptop, you can just make sure when you start your laptop, go straight to the VPN, start the IP address you need, select in NordVPN, use one of the ones I pointed out, and then go straight onto um, the BBC website without visiting any other um, sites without uh, in different countries. So you basically start your VPN, change your UK IP address, and um, then go to BBC. That nearly always, always, always works for me. I'd say about 99%. That and using a different browser solves most of the problems. If you get this error message coming up saying that the UK can detect where you are even when you're using a VPN, just try again. Disconnect, um, delete your cookies, reboot the computer, something like that. Change IP address and you'll generally get it working. The only problem is with the VPN. If you've got a VPN service that's blocked, you've basically stuffed. Um, you you won't be able to get around that. But normally it's change an IP address, cookies, or restart the browser. And that usually fixes it. Okay, well, that's only a quick video, but uh, hopefully that helps somebody out there. And thank you very much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.